Hey. <laughs> With friends. I love Pokemon so much. I love Pokemon no, so much. No, it's a scary song now. I think this, this one sounds scarier. Yeah. I do too, yeah. Sounds like a wailing woman. Not to mention there's all these weirdos in here. Did this place scare you as a kid? It was kind of spooky. It scared the shit out of me. I remember when I was playing my Game Boy, a hyper-realistic vision oh, appeared. Oh, I thought these- I, I, I confused this one for Pokemon Gold has the really spooky Ooh. sprites. Look at Ghastly. Of the mediums where their eyes are popping out and they look really spooky. I like this version of Ghastly. <laughs> Little snake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, he's licking you! <laughs> oh, what the- How sexual! Top 10 weirdest moments in Pokemon, when the Pokemon lick the other one, what the fuck? What the fuck? That was probably a bad idea. Mother came in the room and said, are you licking the game again? You know, okay. did, did I show you guys the, uh, the guy on BuzzFeed who was like... You're already starting the story off in a way that <laughs> I know I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, you will. Because <laughs> you said BuzzFeed. Well, the guy on BuzzFeed, he made an article. And it starts, Remember Max from Goof Troop? Oh, I remember that one. Well, he's all grown up now into a lumbersexual babe. Lumbersexual? What's a lumber what that he, he draws really shitty pictures of Max grown up with a six-pack and a big, big beard and mustache. He's like, he he's doing really well for himself. And he draws another picture of the him. The fictional character? Yeah. No, he's acting like, look, look, look how he's doing. And he's like trying to promote uh, social media accounts that are, that he made. Mm. So like he has his own Twitter and Instagram. See, <laughs> and it's, then it's just like, remember Tommy Pickles from Rugrats? He has a Twitter now. Yeah. <laughs> Can I open it and read out some of them? Okay, so since that article went up, he deleted his Twitter, but then he <laughs> he came back. He said, "What's up, Twitter? I'm back. This is Max Goof." <laughs> he says. Here's a tweet from Max Goof. I like how commercials will say real people, not actors, as if actors aren't real people with their own opinions on products. Thank yeah, you. That sure sounds like something that Max That sounds Goof like would something say. Max would say. Oh, here's another one. Just landed in LA. Good to be back in the US after being gone several months. Missed everybody. Where did you go, Max? Did you go to Euro Disney? Oh, when Gene <laughs> Wilder died, he tweeted about Gene Wilder. He oh, said, a man. Jesus. Not only of pure acting talent, but of intelligence, kindness, and an ability to make you smile. Hashtag Gene Wilder. Wow. Oh, here's another one. This is a good one. At a museum and can't take flash photos. They must be worried the people in the paintings are gonna be like, Damn, shit's <laughs> blinding me, bruh. <laughs> Jesus. Just bought a mixed fruit cup from 7-Eleven because it seemed like a good snack. What has my life come to? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I ate fruit! Kick, 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 quah! Oh, dude. On the 4th of the 9th, 2016, he said, It's my birthday. Now feel obligated to buy me presents and write happy birthday on my Facebook wall, motherfucker. And then they did it. Can you look up Max Goof on the Disney wiki and see that was actually his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Charmeleon looks really weird from behind. Cause he's got a fat face. He's also got a, a white horn on his head. He's constantly going... <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm surprised that didn't... What, those are his cheeks? Yeah. He's, blow <laughs> he's blowing really hard, he's puffing him up. Oh dude, Max Goof, he said, I'm exercising my right not to vote today, on the day of the election. Good job, mm. Max, it's your fucking fault. The TSA really likes to employ either the friendliest people or the rudest, what nastiest- What is this account?! <laughs> Stop it! Come on. Oh, dude, he said Robbie Rotten is my idol. What?! That's- okay. I can see that, you uh, know? Max Goof. I feel like people should stop saying I feel like. Shut oh. up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Get him out of here. I'm fluent in two languages, English and body. This is a fucking troll account. This is not real. Oh no, this one was good. This is his latest tweet. I never really knew my mother. She was up amongst the stars. Don't take your mom for granted. Happy Mother's Day. Aw, poor Max. Oh my god. What does that say underneath? Where the hose at? Yeah, where the hose at? <laughs> where are hashtag the hose at? Goof Troop Max. Hashtag Goof Troop. Hashtag Beards. Hashtag CrossFit. BuzzFeed. Disney. Max. 
Paganophile, selfie, cartoon, tune, adulthood, grown ass man. <laughs> Donald Duck That's a Goofy. Tag? I like yeah. that being a tag. Celebrity. I'm a grown ass man making this fake Twitter account. Odd. Look, he had a family with his girlfriend. It's the, it's the I, most repulsive thing I've ever I seen. Hate this. <laughs> My Pokemon fell down the stairs. <laughs> Did it die? <laughs> no. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> she just she just hangs out. <laughs> what Pokemon was it? Erg, a wahoo. It was Onyx. No. <laughs> 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 Imagine Mr. Mime falling down the stairs. Imagine- ah! <laughs> Imagine Onyx. He would start falling down- <laughs> He would start falling down stairs that aren't actually there. She puts a little band-aid on his head. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then he slithers outside and goes to the store to pick up eggs. <laughs> Why does he pick up eggs? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because his owner's a fucking senile idiot. Have you heard about Goofy? He's dead and has been for several weeks. <laughs> he also was gay. <laughs> it was very recent. He, he was gay and dead. He got pancreatic cancer, which no one survives. Poor Goofy. Why did I do this? He left behind four children. Three of which we've never heard of. <laughs> Goofy's hidden children. <laughs> yeah, that's a good article. <laughs> There's Max. Max. Uh, and Zach. LaShondra. <laughs> and Miguel. <laughs> and Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this filthy old Asian lady? No! Quack! 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 quack. They're doing bird calls. Quack. She's not old or Asian or white-haired. She's... Asian. She's Chandler from Friends. I made that joke already. She's for... okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just say she's, uh, Monica. <laughs> Monica. I had to struggle to remember the name of another character. Julian, out of everyone in Friends, who's your sexiest? Uh, hmm. I don't find any of them particularly attractive. What about Ross? Eh. What, what about Winthorpe? Yeah, Winthorpe Goopfried. The door. The door? Yeah, with the little picture frame on it. You'd fuck that? Yeah. Just because it has curly picture frame? Yeah. What if uh, when you're fucking the picture frame door, the picture frame started moving? And then Goof Troop Max appeared. <laughs> Why does this keep coming up? <laughs> He's infecting everything. <laughs> you shall join us. Yeah, let's all go to the mall. Let's go to the fun club. Would you go to the mall and or the fun club with like 15 of these ladies, Chris? <laughs> what the fuck is the fun club? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you talking go, about? You go, <laughs> you go to Panda Express on the order and they all go, I'd say, can I have can I have orange chicken for all twenty of my peers? And then we'd all eat orange chicken and feel really sick after it. And you tell them about Max Goof, and they say, they, they go quick, 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 and they all fly away. <laughs> <laughs> and they grab each other's arms and spin each other around and fly away. <laughs> quick, quick. Fucking. That's what, that's what Birdos, not Birdos. Birdos. That's what. Uh, Birdolomew. Uh, the, um, Ostro? Kupos. Kupos. <laughs> what are they called? Kubo. The the birdies and the two things. The Final Fantasy birds. You mean chocobos? Oh, chocobos. Chocobobos. Chocoboos. They say quay. That's what I said. When I was younger, everyone told me they were called chocoboos. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Did you call for it? Yeah, no, I called oh, them chocoboos my whole life. I still call them chocoboos. Chris. Just because it sounds like the bad word doesn't mean I can't say chuckaboo. That's true. Okay. It's close to the other word, I'll give you that, but... It's a bird, though. Come try it, I've sealed your eyes shut. <laughs> Stay with me forevermore. <laughs> Cling to my side. You know the voice of Atch Ketchum? Yeah. Is also the voice of, uh, Captain Planet? Uh, is that so? No. <laughs> but have you seen Captain Planet now? He's a hero. He's a lumbersexual. <laughs> everyone grows up to be a lumbersexual. <laughs> Literally everyone. Have you seen Homer Simpson lately? He's really changed. What do you think Max Goof would actually grow up to be, Chris? 
Um, I don't know, an IT guy. You think so? I don't think he's that smart. He's, I guess you don't have to be, do he, you? Yeah, he's... He's smart enough to the point where he learned music software, then he got invested in computers, then he knows just enough to fix his friends' PCs. That's it. What if you saw a BuzzFeed article and said, Have you seen Homer Simpson now? He's really changed, and you click on it, and it's just a picture of Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how at the end of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling told everyone that everyone grew up and achieved all their dreams. And they all had babies. Yeah. This okay, was well, and to Harry that. grew up to be an Auror? And Ron grew up to be an Auror, and Hermione went back to school, and she confused herself and <laughs> killed herself. <laughs> I don't think she's How so did bad. she confuse herself? <laughs> she read too much at once. <laughs> <laughs> she read like she had like five books. Her head started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> she just jumps out of a window. <laughs> I like that visual. <laughs> <laughs> Harry had a boy with Ron. They should have just got them pregged. Harry did the pregnancy spell on Ron. <laughs> they had a child. <laughs> <laughs> that probably exists. Yeah. They probably have one. If JK Rowling wrote a new book about it, she would put in all this weird shit. She'd be like, in this world, you can change your genitals at a whim. That way no one feels left out reading my book. <laughs>